Mi fam bon le on a oh my god, I feel like it's been forever. Um, I hope everyone's doing good and I'm sorry I've been MIA but I'm back and I promise you I'll be more consistent, okay? But you know how it goes, life happens and everything is just like, ah! But not to worry because I'm back, okay? And I promise not to go this long again, promise you that. But anyway, let's kick this off with a nice, easy to follow recipe, reggae pasta with kim prawn and um yeah if you want to see how i created this yummy delicious colorful goodness stay tuned okay see you on the other side people let's get into it <laughs> honestly feel like i haven't seen you guys in such a long time and i am so sorry but anyway let's get into it as usual you know how i do i go through my ingredients with you guys um so yes so i've got my pasta boiled and ready to go that's about th 300 um kilograms of um boiled penne pasta that's what i'm using today you can use whatever pasta you want that's totally your choice but for today i'm using um, penne pasta for this recipe um yes and i've got some spinach here which is totally optional you don't have to use spinach but i want to because it adds nice color and um if you are anemic like me and you don't like to take iron tablet honestly you can just eat it through your veg that's what i do so spinach is bae like it's my best friend i love it and i've got a stem of spring onion here some garlic and ginger just for seasoning and just natural flavoring um you don't really have to use the the ginger but i am because i love me some ginger and um obviously i got some oil and of course you have to have your jerk seasoning because that's the whole point that's why it's called reggae pasta <laughs> because of the jerk and obviously you need your double cream and i've got some red bell pepper yellow red, um, bell pepper and some asparagus that's also optional you don't have to but i love asparagus so yes and this is my seasoning guys and of course i've got my prawns washed seasoned and ready to go um i'm going to list everything i used to season my prawns um yes and i also have some sea salt here for taste um yeah so this is my ingredients guys colorful and just vibrant beautiful all right guys um i'll see you at the next step <laughs> so now basically i've added my spring onion and my garlic and ginger into my mortar and pestle so i'm just going to give this a good beat uh, to create a nice texture um like sort of like a paste consistency um yeah so when you're doing this be careful because you might you know splash it everywhere and you don't want that so yes i'm just going to give this a good bit and a couple of minutes because that's going to go into my pasta um so now i am going to fry my shrimp so i added about two tablespoons of the olive oil into my frying pan heated it up so it's now ready for my prawns um i'm going to like cook each side for about a minute because obviously it's prawns it doesn't take that long and also you don't want to overcook it because you're going to add this into your pasta at some point so in total let that fry for about five minutes maximum spread it out nicely um whilst that's cooking let me just um show you guys what my um spring onion garlic and ginger look like after beating it into the uh, mortar and pesto and also i added my stock cube my vegetable stock cube because sometimes it's hard for it to dissolve so what i tend to do is um give it a good beat into like my garlic and ginger uh, mixture yeah, so that's what that looks like
um, it's ready now as you can see it's nice and pink so I'm going to transfer it back into a bowl the bowl that it was in I'm going to put it back in because I'm putting that later on just make sure you get rid of all the excess jerk seasoning that will be left in the pot in the frying pan okay so that's my prawns those are ready and what i'm going to do i'm just going to go in with a tissue and give it a good wipe this is a non-stick frying pan so it's really good um then i'm going to pour a little bit of oil again about a tablespoon like that in a little bit Yeah, can you see oh that looks delicious um obviously i didn't add any scotch bonnet or anything like that um in the ingredients as you guys can see because we're using jerk seasoning and it's already spicy so you don't want it too too spicy so i would leave that out but then again if you want that extra fiery kick and you can handle your pepper go ahead knock yourself out but i won't be because this spice is enough for me um, I am now going to add in my beautiful mixed vegetables, bell peppers and asparagus. And I will cook that for a couple of minutes um, because I want it crunchy. I don't want it too soft, you know. I want it to be nice and crunchy. So I'm literally going to pan fry it for like a couple of minutes. As you can see, it's been frying for about a couple of minutes. I'm happy with what it looks like. I'm happy with that texture. I'm now going to add my um, ginger, garlic, and spring onion mixture into my pot and give it a good mix. And keep the fire on a, like medium to low heat because obviously you don't want to burn your veggies or anything like that. And yeah, so. Leave, give that a good mix for about a minute so everything can combine and then i am now going to add my cream like i said i don't want my vegetable overcooked i like it crunchy and um yeah so and so i'm not cooking it too long i'm adding my double cream okay some people use cheese when they make this but I've done it with cheese before and I've also done it without cheese and I prefer it without cheese so for this video I'm not using cheese but if you want to use cheese you can and it will be at this point where after your cream is heated up where you put your cheese but I don't want cheese I'm not using cheese so what I'm going to do is just add my seasoning onto the pot So I'm adding my seasoning. I'm going to list everything that's in here, by the way, guys, not to worry. Because I want um I want the seasoning to cook together with the cream. Because I don't really want to taste, you know, that creamy taste that I usually get from, like, um, spaghetti carbonara and creamy-based um, dishes. I don't really like that. So I'll season it up. And what I tend to do as well, I want today. But if you have a pinch of, like, um, brown sugar, you can add it at this point. Cause that kind of cancels the you know you know that taste um, from my Sri Lankan people you know sometimes when you eat some um, some uh, certain dish and you add kinton obviously this is cream so you know if you want to get rid of that completely add a little bit of brown sugar but I'm all right for today I'm not adding that and I'm going to put a tablespoon of jerk seasoning obviously it's a reggae jerk pasta after all so this is why it's called that. So I'm going to add my um, jerk seasoning. A tablespoon is fine because remember I've seasoned the the prawns with um, jerk seasoning and there's a bit of excess in the pan. So a tablespoon is more than enough. So um, give that a good mix. Um, taste it as you go, go along to make sure you have the right flavour. If you need to add more salt, you add more salt, more seasoning, add more seasoning. Like obviously it all depend on your taste buds is for you not me so yeah right this has been cooking for about five minutes now and that's enough 
like when I added the cream. Like I said, if you're going to use cheese, it's this point where you add your cheese. But I will not be using cheese because I don't want to for this um, particular recipe because I prefer, I've, I've done both and I prefer without cheese. I will add some Parmesan cheese on top of it when I'm serving it to eat up what I want, put it into the actual um, sauce. Okay, so now this is this 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 has been cooking for about five minutes. I'm happy with the texture of my um, veggies because, like I said, I want it to be nice and crunchy and just vibrant in my pot. So I'm going to add my pasta now. I'll go in. Okay. And then I'm gonna give it a good mix. My, I should have used a bigger pot, <laughs> but it's okay. It will work, we'll sort it. So I'm gonna go around and give it a good mix. That is looking absolutely lovely. And then I'm going to add my salt. Now I'll add, a little pinch of salt for flavoring give it a good mix again can you see all that colors can you see how beautiful that looks oh la la it tastes absolutely amazing guys do try it because it's so easy and it's so delicious and it's kids friendly as well because it's not it's not too spicy you know but if you want it spicy, obviously you can go ahead and add scotch bonnet with your spring onion, garlic and ginger mixture. Well, like I said, I didn't do that because I don't want to. And I also didn't add cheese because I don't want to at this point. So I'm going to let that cook for about a couple of minutes more. And then I will add my spinach. Okay. Again, like I said, I've let it cook for about two, three minutes everything is well combined can you see that it looks absolutely beautiful okay and very very delicious guys please please try it and if you do try it let me know how it goes again like i said the spinach is optional guys okay if you don't want spinach you don't need to add it but i will because i love it um it just gives it a little bit of a oomph you know so if you're not using um spinach this is the point you add your um prawns or if you're using fillet chicken that's also fine this is the point you will add it but obviously i'm using spinach so i'm going to add my spinach and literally leave it for like about a minute i'm going to wish me luck to try and combine this and not create a mess because i decided to use a small pot <laughs> um so i'm going to give this a good mix and let it cook for about a minute okay because i don't want it overcooked like I like texture in my food, I like colour and I like to keep the nutrients in my vegetables. I don't I don't overcook my vegetables because then you get rid of all the goodness out of it. Um that's not that's not fit. So um yeah, I'm going to give that a good mix and then I'm going to add my prawns. Um so yeah. Alright, as you can see I've nicely combined the spinach with the pasta and everything else. And um that took I left it for like a couple of minutes to just cook like i said i didn't want it to overcook and i'm happy with how it looks i am now adding my prawns oh my god mm. this is for sweet so they're sweet bad and if you try them please let me know i want feedback how it went if you love it look at that look at that um everything is cooked so i don't really need it to cook much longer but i will leave it in the pan for about a minute or two just so everything so you know can just you know marinate together everything get to know each other i mean and just romance each other small laddy pots you know what i mean because this is ah, this is not match made in every look no but they are look more <laughs> Well, guys, um, I promise you it won't be um, long before you see me again. I won't leave it this long. I promise you. But you know how it goes. Life happens. But, um, yeah, we back strong, baby. So, until next time, let me know how it goes. I am signing out. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you create this recipe because it's, it's delicious, guys. So, until next time, peace out.